Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a sticker and planner accessory and washi haul. I will try and get through all the accessories and washi beforehand and then we'll go straight into the stickers. But as per usual, everything is timestamp linked below so you can go through different shops and all the shops will be linked back down below as well. So let's get straight into the haul. So my first purchase here is from Happy Scrappy and it is more of a photo albums. Um, I got two jumbos and a regular in her last release, which was for this Once More With Love um, jumbo one. I just love it. The Polaroid design with the red foil is just so pretty. Like how cute is that on the spine? That is just, I just died for this um, design. So I had to get it. And then when I was there, um, I was like, well, I might as well get another one. Basically, uh, when she releases these, she announces ahead of time on Instagram. So definitely follow Happy Scrappy on Instagram. Um, I was there at the time that they were, they were released. Maybe I was a, an hour late. Um, but they, they lasted a fairly long while, actually. She had lots more of these because it was new. But with the reintroduced styles, they were there for quite a while as well, which is nice. Usually, they're not so easy to pick up. Um, but yeah, so, well, so I was just going to get one jumbo uh, while I was there. Um, but shipping was free. I, uh, I don't know if it was meant to be free, but it was free. And I was like, well, uh, if I buy them separately, I won't get hit by customs. So I, I decided um, this one was going to be for my... Well, one of them is going to be for my large foil sheets because I only have my foil on this size and then those are the like their larger sheets that I want to protect in so and then I was like well I have a lot of kits and I already have um, two other jumbos but they're pretty thick with kits so I thought I'd pick up an extra to do some more kit organization and then I picked up an extra one of these because it was like the normal size because I was like you know you never know when you might need another one is this actually, this feels upgraded from her last normals. So uh, I got a couple of these other ones. Um, so I got this really cute. Oh wow, this is different. So the new, like smaller, uh, regular size. So the old one has like this really thin, and this is like a much thicker pocket, the same as the jumbos. I didn't realize she changed that. That'll actually be really useful. Okay. So we're going to do some organizing soon of my foils because that is good to know. Because of my other old one, um, you can see there's a little bit of wearing here. So I don't know if this should be a foil one anymore. And this is like a thicker, stronger plastic, if you can tell. It might be good to switch those over. But here you can see the tall foil. So I got the jumbo. But I'm just prattling on for three minutes. But <laughs> I, I picked up the Once More With Love Polaroid. I decided to finally just pick up the holographic Scribble Prince Code Disney Castle. that has the SPC bow on the spine. This is drawn by J. Crew Plans Jessica, who is the best and a really cute little churro ice cream on the back as well. And it just has a bunch of hollow stars and fireworks. Can't really see in this lighting, but I thought I'd just finally just pick it up to go with my other SPC one. And then I do love this pattern. I love, this is my first subscription pack. I think it was the um, Cupcake Animals and the Boba Bear. So I thought it was really cute with the bubble tea. There's also that on the spine as well. It's hard to get an image of the spine, but um, yeah, I know. I just thought I'd just pick that up to go with my other ones. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. I'm really excited to see that she's upgraded the pockets and the regular. So now they're like the jumbo, and the jumbo fits kits. Um, if you didn't already gather that from what I was saying. But yeah, I picked up these three in the last release. Definitely um, add her on Instagram. To keep an eye on when she releases more, but 
this is such high quality. They're beautiful. I know a lot of people are making these now, but I really like the consistency that she has in terms of her designs and the like the foiling and everything. It's all professionally like she manufactures it in Malaysia, I think, um, where she lives in Singapore. But yeah, they're connected. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're actually really nice and heavy duty feeling. So that is a happy scrappy. The next item here is my Simply Gilded um, washi subscription. I actually unsubscribed after this one. I mean, this is like my dream subscription, <laughs> but I I just can't keep doing this monthly. So I unsubscribed, but i um, looking forward to seeing what else comes out there. I might subscribe again if there's a really good box since she teases everything. Um, but I'm happy I subscribed and I'm not really into the cherry blossom one she just put out so I love this good luck charm box I won't go too in depth because you've probably seen it a billion times um, but you get this really cute keychain and the keychain has like a bubble tea and a rainbow edition I've, this is when I really wish her thing was cats because I would kill for these keychains to have cute kitties instead of bunnies but yeah they had this really cute um, pocket notebook. Uh, the design is just so adorable with the little bunny paws. So cute. Then you get two pins. Once again, and I just wish it was kitties. I like kitties more. But uh, I love the bubble tea pin. Really cute. These sticky notes of rainbows. These are fun um, nail polish stickers, like decals. I really think those are adorable. I'm looking forward to trying those out in the future. And then you have some seals of bubble tea, rainbow paws, uh, bunny paws and rainbows. This is a really cute little journaling card. And then you get some stickers. She is changing her stickers up. Like this one's different as well. Um, she's putting some more full boxes there. That's a really cute full box. Um, I might try and use this set in my plan in my rings. So maybe I'll do a plan with me uh, coming up. But yeah, so I believe she's getting like a new softer paper. I got the five millimeter washi add-on. Really, really pretty. It's all champagne gold. And then you have like a star decoration, not all boys. And then I know everyone was in love with this pouch, like the rainbow ombre -ness. Really, really, it is really pretty. It's a beautiful canvas pouch with purple on the inside. I'll definitely get, uh, use that one. And then these are the washies, which I love. I'm a sucker for the, I just, uh, I love this pink stripe. The, bub the bubble tea is amazing. I love all the champagne gold, which is my favorite. Um, of the uh, foils. I'm not really into rose gold. I love this design. I'm not huge on the font on the word one, but I do love the color of the purple. and I think it makes the set just, the colors are amazing. But yeah, that is the washi from that one. Which I'm definitely gonna get some use out of. Those are gorgeous. So that was the January box. But yeah, as I said, I've now, um, unsubscribed because I just I don't have room for much more washi I'm definitely cutting down on my washi purchasing uh, going forward um, but I still have Simply Gilded and I'll be checking out the pre-sale that's coming up next week so that should be good we will see though we will see from the looks of the polls there's going to be a lot of rose gold and I just don't really want to buy rose gold anymore I'll be honest that was the good luck charm. Not really like a sticker plan accessories order, but I wanted to show off this pencil case that I got from jetpens.com. Um, I love jet pens. They have great arrange, uh, like a variety of Japanese stationery. So this is a little tag. It's actually super cute. Um, but yeah, I got the, I think it was listed as violet um, pencil case. It has this glitter panel on the front, which is so cute. And you have like these two um, pouches here. So in this one, which opens up to the glitter pouch, you actually have this flap here. 
and you could attach pins to this so you can actually see the the pins through the pouch if you want. That's what I've seen a lot of people do. But you can also just put cute items in there as well if you want to like show them off or cute pins. And then also has the second pocket as well. It looks like it'll fit quite a lot of pens in there. So I'm really excited to make this into my um, pencil case. It's just so adorable. Probably put that bubble tea pin from Simply Gilded in here. But yeah, I just, I love anything purple and it's actually a really, really pretty purple color. And just the glitter plastic. What is it about plastic with glitter in it? It's just awesome. <laughs> Anyway, that is what I got from jetpens.com. I got an order in from So Much Crafting. I haven't ordered from her in a long time, but um, I'm currently without a printer or a hole punch or a paper cutter, so I haven't been able to make my own inserts for my ring planner. So I was like, um, well, where can I buy some good quality ones uh, easily and quickly? So I hit up So Much Crafting. So these are for the personal wide rings and they're on a really beautiful paper or professionally like commercial machine cut and punch so they're perfect. And I just picked up this daily one here. I guess I'll open it because I'm about to put them in my I'm gonna put them in my planner after this. Um, but it's hard because it will go everywhere. <laughs> they're all individual sheets. Um, but I picked up this daily one with like the hourly. Uh, must do today notes and water and you can just mark whatever day you want in it and it's just double sided it's really nice smooth paper um and yeah i just picked that up to uh i don't know to just try different kind of da daily stuff when i really want to plan out my days better because i would like to do that more and then i picked up the week on one page with grid Monday to Sunday and this is for the entirety of 2019 so this is what it looks like on the inside you have grid on this side and the weekly on this side which I really like because um, it's just easier to write on here and then I might decorate with stickers or something like that and each looks like each month is separated so you can put a monthly in here as well if you wanted to um, or you could just put in separate months. Obviously, this is about where we're up to, so I'll probably put um, February the February in there. I hate saying February. Um, yes, yeah, so you have the whole year in here. I think up to this should be the last month. Yeah, and the last week is January first is on the Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so. I just got the whole year in here and obviously I probably won't put the whole stack, it's pretty thick um, in my planner, but I just I just want something a bit more simple. I can still decorate with stickers and I still have a big section on one side to like do lists and notes and stuff, but I can just put in my just sort of scribble plans each day and it should make planning in my Erin Condren a little easier. Um, I can do some pre-planning in there as well. So yeah, I just picked those up from So Much Crafting. Next we'll get started into the, the sticker shops. Um, I just picked this up from Hello Petite Paper. So now I'm actually in Europe. Um, she's in Portugal. I don't have to pay, sorry for the sounds. Um, I don't have to pay customs or anything with a fellow European EU country. So um, I was like, oh, well, I'll just do a big order from, well, it's not big, but I'll do an order from Erin Condren there. From Hello Petite Paper. I'm, I'm dying right now. But look how cute this yellow bag is. Adorable. Uh, but I just picked up one of the weekly planning pads. I have a bunch of these, but they're all back in Australia still. So I wanted to, I just like, oh, I'll just pick up a new design one. And this design looks really cute. I like how you have like a checklist. You have like that vertical look to it, which helps you plan better than a horizontal in terms of putting stuff into a plan with me. This makes it so much easier to film um, planning stuff. So I got that, it's just a notebook. Then I got a couple of sticker sheets. Got this really, really cute business card with the foiling, but I've seen a few people put this in their um, setups and just think it's really cute. Then I just got this freebie. 
I, I, I ordered as well because she brought out a bunch of new functional icons, so I had to pick that up. This is just a mat, but I bought everything on Glossy. I'll zoom in. So I got a new one of these cleaning sheets. Um, I really love the designs of this, but I've already used up a lot of the colors. Here we go, this is my old sheet. I think I've done a pretty good job. I still got a few left, but um, yes, I just wanted to refill that since I was already there and I really, really love them. And you know, you use the pink a lot, use the purple, so always useful. So this is the Christmas um, Christmas coffee time sheet, which I'm like, well, uh, it's Feb, Jess, uh, but I really love the colors and I really love the designs of the little candy cane. I just, just too adorable not to get. I wasn't able, you'll see further into this haul that I got a lot of other Christmas stuff. And a lot of it is because since I was moving in December, I didn't really buy any Christmas stuff like this kind of thing um, to use for last year. So I'm, I just bought it all up to use for, to hoard <laughs> and use next year. But you know, there's the pink and gold glitter, like pink plaid, red plaid. Um, so I think actually this is quite, you can use it for a lot of spreads, not just Christmassy ones. So I picked that up. And then from her new sheets, I picked up the nail time. Just, it's just so pretty. I love the polka dot. Uh, like Jasenia, I'm also into polka dots. So I like little polka dots in like black and white. Um, so I'm really a big fan of this. And I'm obviously going to be doing more of my own nails uh, as we come along. So yeah, I think these are really, really cute. And then I also picked up these study time because, you know, I'm doing my PhD. I loved the little stack of books and the laptops are really cute. She brought out a separate sheet of the laptops, which I will get in the future. And I just love the glasses. It's just an adorable seat, uh, sheet. So I picked that up as well. But that is just my little order from Hello Petite Paper. Um, yeah, I just, I really do like her functional stickers. So I'm looking forward to buying more in the future. And talking of character functional stickers, I got this order from Paper and Milk. And look how adorable she sent these in red um, envelopes for China, for Lunar New Year, which is really, really cool. Um, this was done by my US, not me, so it's a bit sad uh, they ripped up, but they did save the sticker. So that's nice of them. How adorable is that label? It's so cute. I just love the cat milk. <laughs> Which when you say it like cat milk, it sounds really wrong, but it's adorable. So I'll show you my order here. This has a lot of Christmas stuff because yeah, I couldn't buy, yay. I put in my notes that I love her. I was like, I love you ladies. And she loves you too, yay. <laughs> um, but oh, look how cute this is. Oh, sleepy, sleepy little Maru. And the little animals is the clouds, that's adorable. Ah, everything paper milk is adorable. Uh, but yeah, I picked up a whole bunch of Christmas stuff that I missed out because I was moving. And I'm definitely going to be using them uh, this year. So I got this little freebie. Look at the cute little, like, vacuuming Maru. <laughs> she is too adorable. Oh, and this really different um, iced coffee. Oh, I love that. It's got a little cat on it. <sighs> I hope she brings these out to the shop. I don't think she has, but those are adorable and I need sheets and sheets and sheets of those. Yes, more of these iced coffees, please. <laughs> uh, so here's the start of the Christmas. I got the gingerbread latte and this is handwritten by her and that is my favorite Christmas coffee flavor at Starbucks or anywhere else that does um, that kind of thing. But gingerbread iced lattes are my all time favorite. Um, so yeah, and there is a Starbucks in Helsinki. So, you know, when Christmas comes, I'm going down there and I'm getting myself a gingerbread latte <laughs> so I can use a sticker. I also got the holiday mood, little Maru's. I just love the, like, the, I love the tree one. It's just like, look at me, I'm a tree. Adorable. And a little snowman will definitely come in handy. I mean, I can use that now. It's, it's still snowy. <laughs> Then I got the holiday desserts, cause I could, and they're super cute. I love this little reindeer donut, so cute. On oh, the holiday cakes, 
I actually once spent a Christmas in Tokyo and we actually spent Christmas Day in, to in Disney Sea. Um, but for Christmas as well, we picked up um, like a Christmas cake that they, they always do in Japan. You know, you have the strawberry um, and cream cake. And we got KFC as well because that's what you do. <laughs> but these cakes just make me think of that and they're so pretty. But also just like the little snow cake. So adorable. I just had to pick up the cakes. I have like no cake or cupcake stickers so had to get those. Oh good, and then I picked up the Switch Play. Um, we do have a Switch. We still have to pick up, um, you know, the, the stand for it so you can play it on your TV. But, yes, I really like how they had the different colors. And they're just a little bit smaller than some others. So, it be really useful too when I play the Switch. I did the ice cream cones because I don't have any ice cream stickers. And they're adorable and little animals. And I love them. So cute. Then I picked up the holiday drinks. <laughs> um, and these are just adorable. Like a lot of them can just be winter as well. Um, and I love these like the milk um, bottle ones. So it's so cute. Then I got the holiday coffee. You know, <laughs> I just got all the holiday things. But yeah, I love these coffee cups. I love the bunny versions. And I really, I use them a lot actually. So I picked up the Christmas ones. Obvs. Um, and then I got one of her, and then she did a tidying up um, lot, so I got the tidy up scripts, super cute. And then the little cleaning Marus, and all the little headband, you got like these sort of, um, it could be a vacuum, or like a mop, you know, a Swiffer, uh, the, the trash bag, and then like just the general dusting cleaning. So that was my order from Paper Milk. I love her, I love her shop. Um, definitely keep an eye out on her Instagram as well. Um, I think it is open right now, but, um, you know, she has a full-time job, so you have to keep an eye out for her shop. But I definitely have to do the binge shopping every now and then to get all the new stuff. That is paper and milk. Now we're coming into the usual caress press, screw prints coat, end of the haul. <laughs> you know, that's always the, the two that come up regularly. But they're my faves, so um, I got, I think this is, yeah, this is technically two Caress Press orders. Maybe it's just one big one. Anyway, so I got some stuff from Caress Press. So I got some multicolor and my first try at Caress Press um, Foil. So first I got my little freebie here, same as last time, but it's so cute and neutral. I definitely need to start using these. I love that. Um, and then, yeah, so her foil is the same manufacturer as SPC. Well, it definitely seems that way. And, um, and yeah, just I really do like the perfectness of them. I know Holly went on about this foil manufacturing. Um... I do agree with her in a lot of ways, but actually the thing with foil is my mindset is I would prefer to make my own a lot of the time because I was making some and there are really good printable shops out there, but I don't have any of that stuff anymore. And I'm very picky with foil and I'm already buying from these shops. So at the moment I am buying their foil and that's just me. We all have to make decisions for ourselves. Uh, but I picked up the Bow Butter Bottom Washi, so SBC has these as well. Um, and she has like her bow and hearts and stars. Uh, but I really liked the look of the Caress Press bow and I thought, you know, I could have like um, different types of bows that I can use if I want to. So I picked up a gold and a silver and you get two sets. And then she includes a little half box overlay as well, which... Uh, in my last order, I got a few other heart, uh, half box overlays, which I'm really excited to try out. But as you can see, they overlay perfectly onto her half boxes. So you, uh, what I would do is I would write on the half box first and then put the overlay on and then put an icon if you wanted. Um, but yeah, it should be interesting to try out a half box overlay. But I just thought these bows are really cute. And sometimes you just want... A different kind of bow to go for. 
Then I picked up some multicolor in her premium matte. I have some in some of the old ones in um and glossy, but now I've been buying her kits in premium matte. I wanted to pick up some matching paper items. So this is her spring colorway. Uh, which I think is still up and I bought I picked up the flight infos because hers are my favorite although all her kids come with flight infos now as well um, her full kids and then I picked up the habit trackers in case I want like extra habit trackers or different colors really cute then I picked up these squared quarter labels really I mean, they're obviously smaller than a um, half box and slightly bigger than her quarter fancy labels, but I really like squared boxes. I'm really feeling them at the moment. I picked some up from SPC as well. Um, but yeah, I thought they were really, really nice, simple designs. I picked those up to supplement kits. And then I got some fancy labels as well. I really like the... Um, solid colors rather than glitter or anything like that and uh, I feel like with her mini kits especially I like to have more boxes so I picked up some of those just to supplement things and then I picked up one kit I picked up the mini kit for cafe which is a really pretty art um, any time art from TWG and I really liked the sort of the darker take on it from Caress Press and she brought in like the she kept like the orangey peach apricot color and the dark green and the black so I really um yeah I really like the different take on it and yes yeah, so I got the glitter headers I picked that up separate and then you get the date covers with the kit date numbers um so here's the top sheet which I usually put to the back because I like the uh, full boxes in the front, but here you can see like the colors are laid out. It's sort of like a apricot Like tan like it's still kind of brownish, but it's got that orange tinge to it. It's really cute um, And you get the really great functional stuff and all the deco Yeah, and here are the full boxes. I know I really like I kind of really dig the black marble um, that she brought into this rather than having it super white and it really makes everything else sort of pop. I know. I really like it. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to planning with it. I don't know when. Because mm. it feels like a, maybe a late spring, late summer even kit. We shall see. We'll have to do some flip-flopping around in my sets. But um, <laughs> I thought this was super duper cute. Yeah. It's really, really luscious. It makes me think of like... Um, interior design magazines <laughs> and then in the mini kit you just have a selection of sidebar headers some little things um, half boxes patterned and solid and then you also get some work labels flags um, some fancy labels everything you need for the sidebar build use um, and then you get the day covers, the bottom washi, an extra box. I love the black flags. I like, so you can look at, um, you have the white bottom washi with some of the black boxes. I just think that looks really nice. And I, I went for it with her paper as well because black on a premium matte is just, uh, I mean, look at it. It's so vibrant and beautiful. I just, any, I love any of her kits that are black because it just, it looks perfectly black <laughs> on her printing and paper. So that was the cafe mini kit and everything that I got from Caress Press. So let's get into the scribble prints go. We got a bit here guys. I'm just going to quickly go over this because she has her new release videos and she basically hauls her own stuff um, on there. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you. Plus everyone's got all this stuff already. Oops, <laughs> I broke that. So I picked up a set of her um, acetate pockets. Acetate pockets, clear sticky pockets. So you can stick these onto things and they are completely clear. 
It's a little pocket like the Target dollar spot ones, but it has this really cute bow in foil. So you get gold, silver, rose gold, and hollow. That is a really cute hollow. And she did match up her rose gold pretty well. Um, but yeah, so I just picked up a set of those because like, why not? And then she also had matching acetate, which is all the little bows again in the four colors. I won't take them out because you, you can see in her video, but yeah, you get four sheets of the acetates, which will be getting cut up into um, personal wide ring size. So you can just plop them into anything that you want, but they do come in lighter size, which is really nice. And then I did pick up the TN kit for um, the, what is it called? Like the hollow Furby kit. Um, I won't go too far into it because I just don't feel like taking it all out. You can see her opening of it on her channel, but I really love these like um, these tabs. These are really cute. They're all hollow, but they got like monthly list, misc, social media today, homework projects, weekly notes. I thought she said there was a double on here. Hmm. Unless she corrected it. Oh yeah, there's one in here. So she must have corrected them and added the new one in. Oh, unless it's two, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you get a whole bunch of acetates and papers and die cuts and stuff. I just... I'm kind of just hoarding this stuff at the moment because I can't do, I don't have a hole punch or anything, so <laughs> I'm just holding these things and I apologize for not opening them. You may damn vote away, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that I bought those, uh, but I think I just want to pack them up for when I can actually use them, but I've got a few of her tan kits and they're all perfect. I love them. So let's get into the stickers. Whoa. Let me just unwrap all these and I'll be right back. Okay, I have everything laid out here and I'm gonna quickly go through some of them. So this order, I just picked up some multicolor and I got, plus I forgot to pick up the fashion girls for this kit. So I put it into this order and I thought I might as well pick up some multicolor at the same time. So I got this freebie. Loved you then, love you still, always have, always will, and silver. That's a full box overlay, as well as buy more SPC. And I have this really cute buffalo plaid um, card. And I just got, so I picked up these fancy labels to redo my um, character sticker organization, which will be coming up next week, because um, now I can film it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm redoing my... Um, stuff with this. So I'm going to put this to the side so I can use them. And I picked up, I think these are her winter colors. She has her spring out now, which I just um, did an order with. But um, yeah, so these, sorry, you can't get this colorway anymore. <laughs> um, but I also got some full squared boxes. Again, I'm living for the, the squared box. Um, you can see they all have like a little color glitter. I just picked up two sheets of those so I can supplement kits with those. Um, and then this order was actually for her uh, big sale that she had um, as part of like the moving the office and I got a whole bunch of foil and if you bought on that day you got an extra sheet of foil which I was very confused I totally forgot about it so I was like I didn't order this but yeah it was the freebie so I got this little once more love bow card um, I'll have Will You Be My Valentine in gold. That's my freebie. I picked up the Me Time, Hair Appointment, Me Time, Sleep In, Treat Yourself, Bath Night, Nail Appointment stickers. And I got them in all three colors. This is the freebie that I got from that sale, which is a rose gold, a lot of boy headers. They're actually super cute. I think she just has her regular bow as head is right now, right? But I would totally buy a few sheets of these ones with this bow. Because it's really cute and simple. So I just picked up um, a couple of things that were on sale. I was like, oh, well, yeah, I use these, so I'll pick up some more. So I picked up the gold star head overlays, the silver stars. 
And then I picked up a set of these speckles, which I'm really glad because I have a kit that they will go with. Um, and I got a set, so the three, and then I just picked up an extra gold and extra silver. Um, I just find that the header overlays is what you really like churn through in foil, so I picked up a whole bunch. Then as part of one other order, I got um, this card drawn by oh, card drawn by Andrea, just a really cute um, coffee one. I got this silver Happy Valentine's Day freebie, and I just picked up the um, the fancy looking date ah not date numbers. So these are individual numbers. You get two sets in small and big, good for birthdays and anniversaries and things. So I picked those up. Uh, I also got this in an order, a whole bunch of foil. I got a rose gold, um, happy Valentine's Day, another buffalo card. I got the 75 plus freebie, the bunch of gold things here. I picked up the chunky glitter o head overlays in the three colors. Love the chunky, but I'm actually really growing fond of the not chunkies. Um, so I bought, I just recently bought a whole bunch of those. Ah oh, yes, I did get a lot of foil this time, but she released a lot this week. So I got picked up the smaller size food, um, drawings by J. Crew Plans. And these are so cute. You can see really well on the silver, but I just love the fries and everything. I'm probably going to have to pick up a few more sheets of these, but I love these and the different kinds of food. Then I picked up. Picked up the big star deco because I love it. I love some, use some stars. Then I picked up the glitter flag overlays to put in the flag on the top corner in the three. And then I picked up the three of the traveling ones. So you have a countdown to vacation, book hotel, check out, buy souvenirs, check in, travel day, pack, unpack, book flight, travel day, book rental car, pick up rental car. Oh, I'm, I don't drive, so I won't do the car ones. But the rest will be really useful. Obviously, I would be saving these for when I go to Austin for the SPC party, because you know I'm going. <laughs> Faux show. Okay, so that's through all the extras that I got. And I'll also show you now the kits that I got. So first of all, what did I get? They're both ultimates. I picked up her Easter kit. Um, so it came with a little Andrea freebie, super cute, definitely saving those. I picked up the glitter headers, and look at these colors, like, you knew your girl was going to get this because of that purple. It's perfect. Oh, someone just came in through the big door. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> just a neighbor. Um, I'm, I li I'm on the ground floor, or the first floor for Americans and Finns and everyone who's not British <laughs> uh, or Australian, and um, we're right next to the main door, so it's a bit loud. Uh, but yeah, this is the Easter kit, and this I feel like this artist just popped out of nowhere, but she's super good. I think um, I really like her sort of more sketchy um, style. I wish I'd go on the sketchy style. It would make everything so much quicker and easier. <laughs> but I think this is super adorable. I love the way um, Andrea put it together. I love this little scene with like the bunting and everything. It's just a really cute, like light Easter kit. I'm not huge into Easter. I mean, I'll, I'll eat the hell out of some chocolate eggs, like a lot. <laughs> um, and plus, actually, it'll be spring here where I live now, so I think that'd be really cute. And it's not too east, uh, you know, it's like, it's bunnies and spring. And it's, oh, these colors are just so pretty. It's got a bunch of deco here. I love these boxes. I really do. And I believe now she's going to put more boxes here as well, which I am so for that. I voted for that because, yes, please. How cute. And I like how she like, there's that green for the grass, but she didn't really bring it into the actual coloring of the kit. I much prefer these colors over that green. Uh, and the pops of silver glitter. It's adorable. It's just a really soft, um, why didn't I buy the split washi for this? 
who am I? What am I doing? Was I going to do something? I don't remember, you guys. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I'll have to figure out the bottom washi later. But yeah, this is like the really nice sort of simple bottom washi. But that is the Easter kit and what I'll be using on Easter. Just a really pretty sort of springy bunny kit. And then finally, but my top favorite, <laughs> is this birthday kit. Um, drawn by me, so you know, I'm terrible. But we all know my opinions on that. I love me. So <laughs> I had to buy this. Uh, everyone did such an interesting good job with this up, you know. I love the colors that Audrey pulled out of this. And I just, uh, I got hers. I mean, I might buy some more. And, you know, who am I kidding? I just love scribble prints, go unashamedly. So I also, I picked up the glitter headers and the bottom washi for that. So I could split the washi. I picked up the extra fashion girls and I love how she did a different one for each so you could have like the cute fluffy shoes, the plus size girl, the girl in the dress or the girl drinking out of the drink. Yeah, so you have like real variety there to choose from, which is why I try and make as many as I possibly can, which is not always easy, but I think that's really cute. And here are the full boxes. I love how she added these like balloons and the drink are actually from a other art that I did for her and they look so good with it I just, I'm so proud of this ice bucket I spent so long trying to look like because it's from a reference where it's like actual glitter is mixed in with the ice and it looks so pretty and it was so hard to replicate there's something about glitter that's hard to replicate um and I saw these balloons of the emoji heart, which is my favorite emoji heart with the sparkles. So I had to do that. Yeah, I love it. The internet is so cute. I love how she just put in some details. And I know everyone was thinking these were planners, but they are presents. But you can use them as planners too if you want. Um, but I just love the colors that she chose and just the overwhelming periwinkleness. I just love. I love. Oh, uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I was so proud of this art. I spent so long on it trying to get the details right, like of this makeup as well. I tried to include a lot of different stuff so it could not just be a birthday kit if you didn't want to. But I think everyone just embraced the birthdayness. <laughs> and that's okay. Oh, I was so proud of these hydrangeas that I drew. Yeah. I'm still practicing the painterly florals i think bloomsicle has us all one on that but um i still try i think it's interesting how she chose the hexagon pattern this is like a real experiment i wasn't sure about doing these like stripes of color or anything um but i think it looks really cool actually um but i probably i mean just to make it extra put that in you can see how it will go in there I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I really I had to pick this up, kit up from SBC. I'm so happy with it. And I'm probably using it for my partner Locke's birthday instead of mine or anything. Mine is in October, so it's always a struggle with Halloween. Um, and I really want to use this kit like right away. And Locke's birthday is in April, so it'd be perfect timing. So yeah, I'm going to use it then. So look out for that in a couple months because... Uh, I love. So that is everything for this sticker haul. I probably had a lot of word salad. I'm sorry. I just talked a lot for this haul. <laughs> if you liked that, please give it a big thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you want to see more. Obviously, I don't have as many hauls these days because uh, I moved and everything, and I mostly get all my mail through a US address and it gets sent to me like once a month. So once a month, you get a, a bigger haul. Um, which I hope is okay with people. I know people love hauls, but yeah, it's, it's a bit hard to do them weekly as I was for a while. I don't know how I was even doing that. What was I buying, you guys? Anyway, I'll shut up and let this video finish. Uh, let me know what you thought. Did you pick any of this stuff up? Would love to know your thoughts. But I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!